So once upon a time, Laius and Jocasta ruled the kingdom Thebes. They were having trouble making a baby, so Laius went to the Oracle of Delphi to complain, and the Oracle basically said, If you have a son, he's gonna kill you. Knowing this, Laius had a son anyway, but he crippled him and messed his ankles up and left him to die on a mountain just in case. And instead of dying, someone found him and he ended up with a shepherd from Corinth. He somehow won the crippled orphan child lottery and ended up being adopted by the rulers of Corinth, Polybus and Merope, who named him Oedipus because of his injured feet. Later when he's all grown up, Oedipus finds out that he might be adopted. He asks his parents about this and they deny it. Oedipus decides to go to the same Oracle of Delphi that his actual parents went to, and the oracle says, you're going to kill your father and marry your mother. Oedipus is pretty shook by all this and travels to Thebes to avoid the fate the oracle told him. On the ride there, he runs into Laius and his friends at a fork in the road and they get into a fight. Oedipus ends up killing Laius and one of Laius' goons manages to escape. Just before he gets to Thebes, Oedipus is stopped by a sphinx, who spends her free time making riddles and killing travelers. The Sphinx riddles him, what walks on 4 feet in the morning, 2 in the afternoon, and 3 at night? Oedipus answers, man, as an infant, he crawls on all fours. As an adult, he walks on two legs, and, in old age, he uses a walking stick. The Sphinx couldn't really handle losing, so it kills itself, leaving Oedipus free to go. Meanwhile in Thebes, the Queen Jocasta's brother Creon has a reward making anybody who gets rid of the Sphinx the king of Thebes. Hearing this, Oedipus springs on the offer and becomes the king of Thebes, and marries Jocasta and has four children with her, Eteocles, Polynices, Antigon, and Ismene. A while after, Thebes is in chaos due to plague and Oedipus promises to fix it. He makes Creon go to the oracle at Delphi, who says the plague will go away if the murder of Laius is caught. Oedipus swears to solve this mystery and sets off. Creon recommends he go to the respected blind prophet Tiresias for advice where they get into an argument and Oedipus ends up finding out that he was the murderer, all along. Oedipus blames his two-star experience on Creon, and they get into an argument too. Jocasta comes to break it up and tells Oedipus the story of her first son, which Oedipus starts to line up with himself, and gets nervous as reality begins to set on him. Then a messenger from Corinth shows up and tells Oedipus that his father, Polybus, has died, which relieves him knowing that Tiresias' prophecy couldn't be true if the man he considered his father was dead. The messenger also mentions that he's adopted. Jocasta figures out that Oedipus is her son and hangs herself, and Oedipus figures out that he is the child that Laius and Jocasta left for dead, and that the man he killed when he first came to Thebes was his actual father, and that he married and had children with his actual mother. And that, kids, is how I met your mother. <laughs>